Hey Guru Nation, welcome back to the clinicaltrialsguru.com. So really quickly, all right, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna do a short like one minute video. Um, schedule of assessments, right? I always talk about this and let me go grab the paper, which is the schedule of assessment I just dropped. Schedule of assessments, I always talk about this, right? This is like your cheat sheet for any protocol. And so one of my clients, brand new research site startup, um, they were asking how to read this thing, right? And I'm blocking out the sponsor so you can't see who it is. But essentially, if you can see here, you have the visit names on the top, and then you have the assessments, and then you have an X underneath each, or next to each assessment for that corresponding visit, right? So. A couple of key things to look at. Obviously, you want to look at the screening phase. In this case, it tells you the screening phase is four to six weeks. So you have an initial screening that goes from two to four weeks. And then you have a run-in, uh, week minus two, week minus one, then a baseline, which is day one. Okay. And then you have week one, week two, week three, week four. So hopefully that makes sense. If not, just take a look at this. Okay. As you can see there. Right, so the important thing to look at is obviously the assessments on the side, on the left column in this case, and then the check marks next to each one underneath that visit. So a couple things to pay attention to. Baseline is important because that's when you randomize the subject. Screening phase is also important. You wanna know uh, what's the soonest you can actually randomize someone. In this case, it was four weeks, right? You see how it says Four to six weeks so you got to screen someone initial screening two to four weeks then you get a week minus two week minus one right so you have to do both of those for this study every study is different right this is not how every study is structured every study is different you've got to look at that schedule of assessments so in this case the initial screening period can be from two to four weeks depending on uh, whether the patient needs to titrate off certain meds and then you have a run-in period for the screening phase which is two weeks. So that's why it's a minimum of four weeks for the screening phase or up to six weeks for the screening phase. So you can't randomize for at least four weeks after screening if, of course, all the inclusion exclusion criteria is met, right? Another important thing to pay attention to is the visits. So after baseline, you have week one. That pretty much makes sense. It's a week after baseline, all right? So if you randomize someone, on Tuesday, one week, the next week on Tuesday, which will be week one, that will be their next visit. Now, usually, this study doesn't have a plus or minus days, meaning a window of days that you can actually still see the patient uh, and they'll still be within window for that visit. For a study like this, they probably didn't allow a window. It had to be exactly seven days later, their next visit. And then week two should be exactly seven days later from, or 14 days later from baseline. So another thing to pay attention to is whatever date the baseline is, that's where all the future visits originate from, right? They don't originate from the prior week. They originate from baseline. Now, of course, every protocol is different, so make sure you really understand the protocol. This is why, while this is good, the schedule of assessments is good as a little cheat sheet, it does not replace you knowing the protocol, okay? So pay attention to the visit window. Sometimes they'll give you plus or minus one day, plus or minus two days, where, where they're still in window. So in this example, if baseline visit is on a Tuesday, and then week one visit should be the following Tuesday, if there were a plus or minus one day window for each visit, then you could see that patient then the following week on Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. All right, so just pay attention to those things. And then finally, uh, there's footnotes. So every assessment, uh, sometimes the assessments on the schedule of assessments have little footnotes. Okay, so pay attention to that. Don't forget about the footnotes page. And that's it, right? Hopefully that helps Guru Nation. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.